Welcome back, everybody. We are back together here with another video and we got some gigantic news from the world of Walt Disney or should I actually call them Broke Disney? You know, I, which name do you like better? Walt Disney or Broke Disney? Broke. You like Broke Disney? Well, they have been going broke. Um, we already talked about Bob Iger um, lying about that um, Disney is not trying to sexualize children. Uh, that is a lie. It's been a disaster. Now, I know you're not a sports person, but um, ESPN fired a whole bunch of people because they lost so much money. And uh, that's also owned by the uh, Broke Disney Company. And our initial story was actually going to be about this. Disney Plus expects to lose $800 million this quarter. I mean, that is astonishing right there. Uh, Disney Plus came out in uh, 2019. The Mandalorian, that was going to be their driving force. And Mandalorian season one, season two was great. I liked it. Mandalorian season three, a disaster. Uh, Willow came on there and uh, it was a disaster. It was so bad that they actually removed it from Disney Plus. That's how much of an embarrassment that TV show was. Well, I think Indiana Jones uh, five hurt them the most, don't you think? Well, yeah, they're going to lose um, $250 million plus on that movie. I mean, if you look at uh, Disney Plus, they have a lot of good classic stuff on there. But the new stuff, which actually was supposed to drive people there, it ain't that great. I mean, they got some good stuff, you know, classic stuff like on Tron Legacy. I love Tron Legacy. I can't even recognize that that movie was actually made by Disney because it's so good. Tron Legacy would not be made like that today under Disney. It'd be a whole bunch of propaganda, right? Well, the there was a news where um, they were making Tron 3, but yeah, then Tron like, 3. it's all a uh, new character. Well, no, well, I don't think right. we have all the information. They were actually talking about on Sam Flynn and Quora actually coming back. We don't exactly know. The only thing that we know about uh, Tron Ares is that Ares is this uh, this new program developed by Jared Leto's character who actually infiltrates the real world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was kind of set up already in uh, Tron Legacy where Clue was trying to get into the real world, you know. But um, overall. Yeah, but I don't know if the old character are coming back. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work unless you actually bring back Ke okay. Kevin Flynn, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam Flynn, yeah, MCon, you can you gotta need to bring that back, um, if it's gonna be yeah, remotely good. And the uh, the girl Iris, yeah. no, Core, Core, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Disney has bigger problems than this here. It's so bad here. Look at this. Desperate Disney prepares to sell off third of the company. I mean, Disney is a massive company, and I already believe that uh, Disney was already too big because over the years, it seems like they were acquiring company after company after company. And how many companies does Disney actually own? I think they own like 100 entities. I mean, they are a massive company, but they have been failing everywhere. The movies it lost over, I want to say, probably $1.2 billion now with Indiana Jones 5. Mm -hmm. the theme parts aren't making any money. Disney Plus losing $800 million. They're going broke. Um, ESPN losing everything. They haven't made a profit on ESPN in probably 10 years. I mean, this is a disaster. And this man right here, Bob Iger, he has been the central figure there. This is astonishing right here. Um, it says here. Disgraced Disney CEO Bob Iger put roughly a third of the company up for sale this week. Bloomberg Business reports. According to the report, the sale, the sale announcement was a subtle but unmistakable one. Iger made the announcement during his disastrous CNBC interview last week where he was uh, caught lying with the false claim that Disney is not sexualizing children. We know that's a lie, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by declaring his cable and broadcast TV assets. Non-core, the report says Iger uh, told the world ABC TV, the FX uh, cable networks, National Geographic and Freeform 
are all for sale. He's also looking for a partner for the failing ESPN. Yeah, he wants to sell out parts of ESPN as well because they lose a whole bunch of money. ESPN is so expensive. Uh, Bloomberg does the math. Disney's media networks generated 35 percent or 24.8 billion of the company's uh, revenue and more than 50 percent or 7.5 billion of its operating income. Yep, that's a big sell off right there. I mean, that that's astonishing right there. Um, it says here the problem and Disney knows it is that cable satellite TV is quickly dying off. People are moving to streaming which is much cheaper, and in some cases, Pluto TV, Freebie, Tubi, etc., entirely free. That's kind of funny because uh, right before we got in here, what was I watching on TV? I was watching Pluto, right? Yeah. I love Pluto TV. I love uh, Plets. Uh, Tubi, I actually watched a movie on Tubi uh, this weekend. All those are free, and they yeah. got good content on there. And, um, you know, Disney, I mean, what, what would you rather watch, Pluto or Spin, you know, when you actually have cable, twenty dollars at ESPN, and now that I think about it, the Disney Networks are probably like half of the total cable bill now. If you have cable, that's really expensive. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend uh, people actually um, uh, check out uh, Pluto. That's some good stuff on Pluto right there. But what do you, what do you make of this? A third of the company. This is an epic failure here. It's a complete epic failure, right? Yeah. Yeah, it even says it right here. The reason your cable bill is so high is because corporations like Disney earn a substantial piece of that bill simply for providing a channel on your cable package. You don't watch it, but you still pay for it. Uh, Same with uh, CNN, MSNBC, MTV, etc. Yeah, like if you get cable and you're not even a sports person, you're spending about $15 just on ESPN itself. That's not including the other Disney stuff. Um, I'm glad that we got an antenna. Mm-hmm. I'm liking antenna TV. And of course, we got some streaming services. I don't want to be a hypocrite. We do have Disney Plus, right? But we have Disney Plus because we actually um, review stuff over there. Yeah. On You know, for content. Um, that's the only reason why. But if we're not reviewing content... How often do we actually watch Disney Plus? <laughs> Not at all, really. I mean, we actually have been watching on um, The Last Ship. That's on actually on Mats, which used to be HBO Mats. That is a really good show. And we don't pay for uh, Mats either. So we're watching a lot more Mats than Disney Plus. If we were not content creators, we wouldn't be spending, I believe it's like $80 a year on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. So, man, this is going to be a disaster. I don't, you know what? Maybe eventually they may just get rid of uh, Disney Plus. I mean, I don't know. They own Hulu also as well, but I know that they're looking to um, sell off Hulu. Um, I like Tubi better than Hulu. To me, that's not a really a whole bunch of um, great stuff. I mean, what what kind of stuff do you actually want to watch on streaming services? Uh, now today I like to watch like the old TV show or like, you know, not too old, but like, um, the last ship, like from 2014, yeah, you know, 2014 to 2018, that show. Yeah. Was, oh, and, yeah. um, I mean, if it's like a good show, the old good show, then I will watch it because like now today it just... This is too much the, woke propaganda you, on Disney Plus. Yeah, the movie and the TV show are not that interested, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's that's really the death nail, I believe, because um, Disney Plus, I believe, truly was going to be geared towards a lot towards uh, children, mm-hmm. and they started pushing all this woke stuff because when you think of Disney, Disney and kids used to go together, but now it really does not. I mean, when you're talking about some of the stuff they're talking about with kids, it's not even kid friendly anymore. So kids can't watch it. Adults don't want to watch it. Who actually wants to watch it? No. I mean, they lost four million subscribers, I believe, in uh, 2023. And now they're down 800 million on Disney Plus. 
I wonder、uh, what would they, you know, how well will the TV show、um, Ahsoka do? I'm curious about that. Honestly, I don't think it's going to do that great、uh, because now Ahsoka is a character that wasn't in the movies. Keep、mm-hmm. that in mind. She was in the Clone Wars. Now, when it comes to the core movies of Star Wars, she wasn't in them. But people actually did like Andor. I didn't care for Andor that much. I thought it was mediocre. But a lot of people liked it. But the problem was a lot of people didn't watch it. And in Ahsoka, you do have Ahsoka as a Jedi and stuff. I don't think that many people are going to watch it. And will they actually ruin another George Lucas character? That's another question right there. But it comes out next month. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to.、Um, Review it, right? And I'm pretty、yeah. sure we're going to be fair about、um, Ahsoka. Ahsoka is a great character. Yeah. I love Ahsoka in the Clone Wars. I mean, she was kind of annoying at first, <laughs> you know, early in the Clone Wars. But、um, she's a character that has definitely、um, grown on a whole bunch of people because she wasn't that well liked at first. But she became a great character. Now, Dave Filoni is actually making this. So we have to see. This is his live action.、Um, Debut, even though he directed some of the、um, Ahsoka episodes in, um, in、uh, what was it, Boba Fett? Yeah, yeah Boba Fett, I think. So, which is a terrible show, by the way. Also, you got anything else you want to add to this? Because it looks like、um, Disney, man, this is bad news for them. A third of the company gone. Yeah, but yeah, they still keep Kennedy.、Uh Kathleen yeah, Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy is there for now, I guess. I don't know. Well, there's a rumor that she is planning to stay because no one takes the position.、Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe one day they'll just end up uh, selling um, uh, Lucasfilm too. <laughs> They're not making money on Lucasfilm. I mean,、yeah. it's, it's been a disaster now. So, but、uh, that's going to wrap it up, guys. I think we'll be back tomorrow here with another video for you guys. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.